Welcome to David's Custom Garage, Episode 5. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the rotors and brakes on your car or truck. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've already taken off the wheel. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is take off this caliper right here. And what holds it in is a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom. For me, this takes a 10 millimeter uh, socket, but it can be different for your car. Just depends. And as you can see, these things are really bad rusted. So I'm going to take a uh, I'm going to take a crowbar to try to pop this thing out. Be careful while I'm doing this not to damage anything. That's that off. Set it up to here so that you don't put any stress on this brake line. This is very important because if you stress this brake line, if you stress the brake line, you may have to replace it. Now just pop off your old pads by just pulling them out. And the next thing you're gonna have to do is take off this bracket to get this rotor off. And I'll show you how to do that now. Now that, now that this bracket's off, this rotor just comes right on off, just like that. And now, if you want to, you can do this to make a mace. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is install the new rotors and the new pads. And to install the new rotors, it's really pretty straightforward. Once you get it out of the package, you just pick it up. Well. And it just sets right on there just like that now the next thing you're going to have to do is put this bracket back on so we're going to do that now setting this caliper right here now the reason why this is important is because as you can see it's pushed out right now these are pushed out of here and basically the reason why this is like this is whenever your car is driving down the road this keeps this keeps the pads firmly against your rotor so that your car can slow it down with ease now whenever whenever your pads start to wear and whatnot these push out and they're not made to go back in regularly and if you push one of these in the other one comes out so what you have to do is take your old brake pad and set it in here like this, or like this. Take a C-clamp like so, clamp it onto it, and just tighten it down. And now, 
as you can see, these are pushed all the way back into where they were. Now we can put on our new brake pads and set this on. This is pretty easy. It's going to come with clips like this right here. And they're basically going to go right here where the old ones came in. Now the reason why it's important to put new clips in is because whenever your brakes wear out, so do the clips, and you're going to need to replace them. Now whenever you buy your new, um, whenever you buy your new brakes, it's going to come with new clips. So you shouldn't have to worry about buying them after market. Now once you have your last bolt on, you're pretty much done. Now you just need to put the wheel back on and start driving down the road. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.